welcome back. In the previous part, I found out there was something going on with Tepe. He didn't seem in good health. Says he was okay. Says he took on quite a few enemies. Strong ones at that, but I'm worried what that means for him because there's something going on. It's not just him, then. I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi? Goro? Uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. Oh, crap. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Let me guess. The Fatui? Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? <sighs> well, most of the officers refused to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Oh, yeah? What? Do you know something about this? It's a Fatui delusion. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So that means our secret sponsor is the Fatui? But why would the Fatui do this? Uh, forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... Tepe. No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Where's he at? Cause he's in trouble. How many years has he lost? Seem to question. Why is it draining their life force? Doesn't do that with child, so hmm. Texture popping down there. I think that's the only thing I've noticed with the PS5 version. A lot of popping. So he's around here somewhere. Apparently. Not died, has he? Whoa! Happy! Oh! <coughs> hey guys! What are you doing here? Dude, you're like in your 80s. Just a moment, let me, let me get up. Ugh. It's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Tepe, you have to tell me. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Fighting <coughs> the Shogun's army at sea. Taking on Shogunate Samurai all by myself. Rescuing my comrades from... from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. The stronger I am, the more I can do for the resistance. Wait a sec. Where's my secret weapon gone? Tell me about this weapon. Um... It wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, this secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've i never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. This is a delusion. Delusion? <coughs> oh, God. That doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? A delusion drains the user's life force. Huh. <coughs> 
gosh. Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. At first, I'd find I was a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I, I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Triple dot. Hey, would, would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here, and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. Pepe. The Tui. Oh, he's pissed. It's like, that's not good. Peppy's breathing is getting weaker and weaker. Oh, no. Ooh, hello. You're here. How's Tepe's condition? I, I like the top one. It's sort of getting angry. I was like, how could none of us have noticed? I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the ban, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? I'll go confront the Fatui directly. No, it's too dangerous. The Sakoku Decree is still in force. So their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. It's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. There's no time for that. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria. And if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their dilutions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs, near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you. But please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Okay, uh, let's go. Huh? You mean to the delusion factory? Triple dot. Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Uh, fine. Like, let's go get some payback. Hmm. What's the best way of getting there? 
Like if only we could get a boat over there, but we'll go we'll go from here. Might be the best way. Is that, is that seriously gonna like pop in already? Because like the texture quality for the snake skeleton is just not not good. We should go get that thing over there. I can't run in the water! Oh, it's horrible trying to run in water though, isn't it? Yes. Ooh. Get that one over there. Hey, there's for two in there, but there's no thing again. Ooh. What's that about? Careful, I nearly ran off the edge of a cliff because of that. Is the texture gonna pop in, or is it- or is that it? It just- it Looks like it's popped in down here. Yeah, it looks better now. It does look better now. Okay. There's a Sealy. I don't see the Sealy's cup holder. That's what it's called, right? Cup holder? Do I have any keys? Watch it, mate. Watch it. I don't think I've got any keys, but I'm gonna check. Getting hiccups now. This isn't good. I wonder if I have to reload the game or something. No. It's like the, the pop-ins becoming more and more frequent, and I haven't switched games for a while, so it's sort of like... Maybe... Well, that could be something to do with it. Okay, so somewhere around here. It's going to be there. Although I'm going to go get that first. Nice. Don't stand Ooh, too close to me, or you might get hit by lightning too. Let's 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 just get in there. Let's go. Yeah. It's not good to take electro, but. Yeah. Place is falling apart. Adventure time. But Tiri, we have enough. Adventure time. Well met. Oh, oh reveal thyself. Huh? It's just you running at me, not really doing anything. It's like it's like he can't get near me because of the shield, and it's just like, well, I've got to keep running until I get to you. You're pushing me out the way at the same time. It's down the Geo dudes. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Let's light it up. By royal decree. Cook this through. What about this way? Oh, I need more. Got you. Going down. So is this what the illusions are made for? So much crystal marrow. Now where have we seen that before? Wait a second! Are they getting this from retail? So the kinds of the mission are uh it all connects back to the beginning. To ashes! Is he alright? You okay mate? Like, do something. I'm just there like, I don't know if I should kill him, it seems like he's injured. All notice? With the conflict drags on, the more advantageous our position will be. Deepen the resistance, reliance on delusions, to fan the flames of war, and steal the resolve of the leadership on both sides to continue the fighting. Yeah, we get the idea of what you're after then. War profiteers, in a strange way. Is there any, like, secret walls in here that are actually doors? Nope. Alright, so. May as well use our shield. <laughs> Works. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, 
Who designed this place? Oh, what could grab on the ledge? Oh, back this way then. Feels like it's gonna be a boss room. The work of the harbingers. You'll never get out of here alive. Teamwork is teamwork. Yeah, chop. Don't impede the work of the harbingers. I summon you. Looks like I have you. No time to look up. Yeah, I'm a captain. Not that I swear. I summon thee. Huh? Everybody stand to ashes! Ha. My work! Shouldn't let your guard down. This timing's off on some of the ultimates, which is causing issues for me. This quickly. Need to get it lined up in case there's... Maybe there's gonna be, like, the door opening when there's gonna be a boss fight at some point. Unless this is the end, but why would that be an elevator? Unless that's the one we did earlier. Could be, yeah, because we went above, didn't we? Right, anyway. But I'm trying to save my ultimates. Because I don't want to waste them in case we want to get something bigger. Let's light it up! Tidal wave! Now this idiot must have a death wish! Don't be intimidated! Lord Harbinger will be here soon! He will be? Couldn't I have gone through that door? That would have been nice. That's gonna hurt in the morning! Be gone! Well done! Stop cheating! Let's light it up! Out of my sight! From me up! How dare you! Eyes on me! Let's go. I suppose we'll go up there then. Mirror images dispersed like water. <laughs> belongs to ice. You actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? So, you're another Fatui Harbinger? Like Senora and Child? Thunderbolt and Lightning, very, very frightening me. Senora and Child. <laughs> I didn't know you and my two least reliable colleagues were acquainted. I'm the Balladeer. Number six of the Fatui Harbingers. Delighted to meet you, oh mighty traveler. So many visitors today. To what do I owe the honor? You're manufacturing delusions. Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but... I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <sighs> Didn't have you down as being so weak. How can you say this is nothing? How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die, with or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Do you have any idea how useful the vision hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interests. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world. 
trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't you think? So, the Fatui started the vision hunt decree? You've been behind it all along? From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the Resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. Don't you dare, Moktepe. Hey, calm down! Oh, uh, no! <laughs> 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 That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Get up! <laughs> What did he do to us? Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Three, two, one, one, two, three, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, that's positive. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. Yes. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. Uh, Nico? Paimon's been wanting to ask you about something. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other Shrine Maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society. <sighs> At the moment, anyway. And I'm just doing as I please. Uh, I didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. How did you save me from the... Balladeer. Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? Ah, the Fandango. <laughs> well... Maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm... Maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. Thank you ever so much? I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm... The delusions... They're still on your mind, aren't they? I mean, yeah. You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say... I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, 
That's Ngonomiya Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person. But alas, belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. So this is why you rescued me? You've met her, right? Yes, at the ceremony. I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? You mean... inside? Yes. The true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? There were some subtle differences, especially to the world. <sighs> because this is the ride in Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. A. Zhongli also mentioned erosion. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. I'm still not sure what you want me to do. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by, uh, hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. Why me? Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say, well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? 
anti-Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along. Come along. I will come along. Adventure time. Where's the tree? Where am I, where am I running? I want to check on the tree. Like while I'm here, let's check on these few things. How are we doing? 41! Alright. Then we got ourselves some two more wishes. Good. Not, not great ones, but you know, we'll take them because, you know, it's better than nothing, better than nothing. Alright, go on then. Let's see if we get anything. Nope. There we go. Then, nope. Ah well. It's building stuff up. St stuff up. So, you, you know, it's but like, oh, it's, it's, it's like the pity will come in eventually. And I'll get probably Chi Chi again. But you know, at, at least then, like you know, I'll get some stuff that I can use for the, the shop as a result of that. Right. Yeah. So I'm thinking we'll end this part here, and the next part we'll be heading off down there and seeing what's going on next. So what we got with that? The Servant's Path. Ooh. Interesting. But that's a world quest, so nope, doing it on my own. Right, so, we'll see you in the next part with the Servant's Path. Ta-ta for now.